time for another episode of Create This Book 2. So yeah, let's get into the three pages that we have for this episode. Let's go. The worst transition ever. Okay, enough of that. But here is the first page that we have for today's episode, which is create a list of favorites. Choose any category, places, movies, foods, etc. Make a list of favorites. So I decided to pick the category music because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm literally like a huge fan of music. I will literally use or listen to music every single time and every single day. It's just something that I really like to do when I'm bored or it's just like sometimes used as my therapy, you could say. So over here is actually I'm bringing out my phone and I have like my Spotify playlist and obviously One Direction. Like I love One Direction, like literally that so yeah i'm pulling up my favorite playlist that i have on my spotify account which you can go follow me if you want but i'm actually going to pick up a couple of my most favorite songs from this playlist and probably insert them or write them down onto this page so my main idea was i was actually going to draw like a phone and i was going to m write or draw i don't know write my spotify playlist inside the phone and then i was gonna draw a girl who was like you know wearing headphones and listening to it and that girl is probably me because i listen to that playlist like all the time so yeah but that's just that was just my basic idea of how i wanted to incorporate this into my onto this page so yeah you can just watch me do that right now Also guys, I recently bought a new microphone which I'm using right now, so let me know what you guys think of the quality, like is it good? Because I recently got this new microphone to do voiceovers, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of this voiceover in the comment section down below. So I finished the sketching part of this drawing, so I'm just doing the line art, and honestly, as I told you guys earlier, line art is literally the most boring thing ever, so I was not excited for this part, but yeah. Then I moved on to the coloring, and I was struggling so much with the face, like I was running out of markers, and the ink was running out, and I just was not able to fix it, but in the end I was able to do it, so I guess that's all that matters, but I just thought I'd tell you guys my struggle, so like this video. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, now you can just watch this time lapse of me coloring this entire page up, so yeah. Here's how the final page turned out, and I added a black border instead of a purple one because the black just looked better, so yeah. The next page I have for this episode is this one, and it's said to create confetti. Make confetti by cutting small pieces of paper or other materials, glue it onto this page. So I started with making the confetti, and for that I just took a piece of paper, and the background that I wanted for my confetti was actually like something a purple or pinkish background. So I took out my watercolor brush pens, and I scribbled on some of the colors, and then I put some water and tried blending them. At first it was honestly not really working because my paper was actually starting to tear, but it honestly turned out pretty okay in the end. So. Yeah, you can just see me do that right now. Then I took a paper towel and I dabbed off all the extra water and like the paper bits that were there and I continued using my markers and trying to blend it all in and I actually could have used watercolors but the thing is that my watercolors don't really have like a really good shades and my markers actually have better shades so I decided to just use my watercolor based markers and you know use them as my background then I started with making the confetti so I basically just cut a lot of strips on the paper and then I was gonna cut through them and that was actually supposed to create like a ton of small bits of paper which I would actually use as my confetti later on so yeah you can just see me do that right now So as you can 
let's see my first idea was actually I drew like this cake um, like birthday cake on a separate piece of paper and then I cut it out and stuck it onto the page and then I was actually gonna like stick all my confetti pieces around it but things took a wrong turn and I did not end up liking how it was looking so I actually tore the cake cut out out we could say tore or you could just say I removed it and my other idea was to use the excess like watercolor paper that I created and I created like this party popper and then I was actually gonna stick all my confetti pieces in front of it like it was coming out from the party popper and you know that's just my basic idea that I thought of because I could literally not think of anything else and I had no time to finish this page so yeah Here's how the final page turned out, and honestly, I don't know what to say about it. I guess it's not my best page, but it's also not that bad. The last page I have for this episode is this one, and it says, To create an alphabet, write every letter of the alphabets on this page. So first on the left page, I just normally roll all the alphabets like all on together, like jumbled up together like doodles, and then on the right page, I decided to draw a school bus because I felt like that was something that related to school and alphabets, you know, are related to school as well. So I drew a school bus and then around the school bus I was going to continue writing my doodle of letters. I thought this idea would be really cool and really colorful so I went for it and uh, yeah, now I'm just giving it a really nice line art. Then I took my markers and I colored everything up and I was so excited to see the final outcome, so yeah. Since the background was looking a little plain, I decided to color it in this light pink shade and honestly that really pulled it off. And lastly, just to finish it off, I wrote the date and we're done with this page. Here's the final outcome and I love this page. It was definitely my favorite from this episode. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this episode of Create This Book 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and head over to our Instagram because we post there pretty much every single day. Not every day, but almost every week we have a lot of amazing content coming up and you do not want to miss it so make sure you subscribe thank you guys so, so much for watching and i will see you guys next week bye